I think these kind of events are very valuable for soybean farmers. Uh, progress in agriculture has always come about uh, as a result of education and understanding our business and how we can do our job better and more efficient. And anytime you get a group of farmers together and a bunch, a group of educated and knowledgeable business people and they exchange ideas, uh, it becomes a positive uh, atmosphere and a positive learning experience and you take home good ideas. Our goal is to send them home with a lot of take-home knowledge. Uh, so there's, there's things you can learn in college and learn in a book, and then there's things you can learn hands-on and take it home and implement it in the field. We've heard today that maybe there's secrets regarding how to increase yield, and uh, weather's no secret, and uh, Dr. Fred Beal will be the first to say that. But what, the message that he has about increasing yield is that it can be done. It can be done with good management practices, some basic foundation, agronomic practices and of course number one is fertility and he'll claim that we treat our corn a lot better with fertility than, than we do our beans and that's that's the truth. So he has some really interesting research data uh, that says that with the right type of fertility it's not rocket science that we can increase the yield so with good management practices it's possible. I don't think it's a secret anymore. It's great to be here because we have growers from different geographies, different levels of experience with glyphosate resistant weed species that are uh, presenting a challenge today and I, I say glyphosate resistant weeds but it's really the weeds that are resistant to glyphosate and then the other modes of action that we've relied on in the past but we have to go back to some of those herbicides because glyphosate's no longer providing full weed control. And so that's part of the presentation that I shared today is just the knowledge of where we are at in terms of the status of herbicide resistant weeds and what we can do in terms of control measures. It's particularly important for, for me and it makes me feel very good uh, about this event because this is the, the, one of the best uses of the checkoff money that we have. We've got uh, uh, some first-class and world-class instructors here from the University of Illinois. Uh, very, very sharp guys that have a lot, that they're all came from a farming background, so it's in their DNA. And it's, it's just very, it's just a neat day and a, a very nice learning experience for all of us. So far today, uh, we've kind of gone full circle as far as soybean production goes. We learned about the physical stages of the soybean plant and what it's doing in each different stage. And then we learned about how uh, the soybean takes away 60% of its pods that it sets just due to uh, environmental reasons and how farmers can try and limit those environmental factors. One of the goals of Illinois Soybean is to uh, increase our uh, overall state production from about 440 million to 600 million bushel by uh, year uh, 2020. And uh, to do that, we've got to raise our state average from about 46 to about 62 bushel per acre. So overall, uh, it's going to take a little while to get there. We understand that. And uh, soybean is just a little harder plant to try and increase the yields on, but little by little, uh, we do make progress on that. Well, I think when you come to an event like this and, and you exchange ideas with people and you listen to the programs and you go home and try them out, uh, sometimes we can go back to things that we knew a long time ago, and such as a rotation, return to a corn, soybeans, wheat rotation, and that may help with some of the uh, weed control problems we are having, or change from conventional tillage to no tillage. and and not disturb the soil and leave what weed seeds there are laying on the surface and they're much easier to control when they have that shallow root system and you not only maintain your conservation but you're, you're making it much easier to uh, control the weeds at a, smaller, at a smaller size and a more economical, uh, more economical budget circumstance. Farmers are starting to get more uh, educated on healthy soils in different ways that they're management practices affect that in order to help with their uh, production for the future and future farmers. There are things that you can do to proactively uh, raise better soybeans. There is potential there to make better beans, to make more beans and make soybeans something that's more profitable part of, part of the operation as opposed to something you rotate to make better corn. Soybean Association is in collaboration with, with, 12, with 11 other states of the North Central Soybean Research and we're looking at all sorts of uh, problems uh, with diseases, with pest control, with uh, sudden death syndrome. 
Uh, we bring in researchers from all, uh, all over the, the 12 states. Well, I was delighted to see that it was passed out today, which is the little booklet. You could put it in your, the glove box of your truck, keep it with you. You would know the different vegetative states that the plant is during the year. It's got, it's got tips for a producer. It's also neat that, that the event today is going to be made available uh, on the ISA website, the Illinois Soybean Association website, for, for people that couldn't make this event today.